How's it going guys? Charlie from Drunk Guy Explains and we're going to be talking about how to play crisscross poker. Playing crisscross poker is relatively easy once you understand the rules. This game is a variation of the Mississippi stud game that's also at a casino. You have five place bet options to do, these being the ante, first street, second street, third street. And what I'm going to do is, let's just say the minimum is $5, we're going to put $5 on each. I'm going to go ahead and hand shuffle, but most casinos now, they will actually do an automatic shuffle and press the little green button and dish out your cards. I'm going to do a hand shuffle, put in a cut card, and since I have anteed up, they're going to sit here and give me two cards and dish out one, two, three, four, five. Now in saying that, they're immediately going to take three cards right here and take the other two cards and make a crisscross motion like so. Understandably that this is crisscross. So essentially you're playing one hand, but two boards. And no matter what, let's say what I have, 10-4. When it comes to crisscross poker, you get paid out six pairs of sixes to tens are gonna be push pairs. Jacks are better, pay one to one. So if you have a pair of fives, pair of fours, pair of threes, that does not pay anything. If you have two pair, pays two to one, trips will pay three to one, so on and so forth. In the description below, I'll sit here and put the rules and the payouts for this game. But let's just say for this argument, I wanna keep playing. So you still have to match the minimum bet, which is $5. They will go the horizontal first. And so right now, believe it or not, I show a pair of fours. But that is not a pay card, it is not a push card, it's nothing as of right now. But for the tutorial video, let's say I put another $5 for the vertical. I flip the vertical. Once again, a pair of fours. Now, even though that is not a push card, let's say if this becomes something, I could have two pair or trips, et cetera, et cetera. One thing to consider when playing crisscross poker is don't get confused about this. This is an individual board on the horizontal, and this is an individual board on the vertical. So these fours and eights mean nothing. So I wanna see one more card. I put it down here for third street. They flip it over. It's an ace. The dealer will take it and say you have a pair of fours, which is nothing. They'll come over here and say you have a pair of fours, which is nothing, and then they will take the rest. Now, let's say for this instance, for entertainment purposes and also for informational purposes, I'm gonna take this as my hold cards and I'm gonna switch this to right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it all back over, even though I know the cards, and say I'm gonna start out with $5 each, and now a pair of eights. Well, sixes through tens, pair of sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and tens are push cards. So when it comes to Mississippi stud and when it comes to crisscross poker, you can increase your bet on the streets up to three times, always three times. So I already know I have a push card on both, so I'm gonna take one, two, three for $15, $15, and $15, and then put it right here. And so the dealer will flip it. And so already you would have two pair, they'll flip this, you still have a pair of eights, and flip the next card, and they'll take the cards, say, okay, you have two pair right here, and you have a push right here. So they push this, I can go ahead and take this back, and then they'll stack up these, for the two pair for eights and fours and go one stack, two stack and pay that out. And that is how you play crisscross poker. This is Charlie from Drunk Guy Explains. Check you guys next time.